What's up guys, Jake here with Jake Scott Herps, not being confused with herpes, herpes is nasty and a lot of people on you know Facebook and YouTube have been pressuring me into talking about this and I feel like it's one of those videos I should just make, right? Like, if I never made another video again, I feel like the one that I'm going to make today would have some sort of importance that would hopefully reflect positively on this hobby and you know make people think a different way. You know, I can't say I'm going to accomplish all of those things, but it's something I'm going to try. Because with a decent following on YouTube, and thank you guys for that, you know, I'm I'm not saying that, uh, you know, I, I take all the credit because I have 5,000 subscribers. It's, you know, all of you guys who, you know, give me this opportunity to, you know, share what I think to a, you know, broader group of people. Uh, so thank you for that. I'm not trying to give credit where it isn't due. But... You know, it's tough for me to talk about any one of these little incidents um, by themselves just because I feel like they're all they're all kind of the same way of thinking, right? Like the incident in Canada that happened, you know, the tragedy, um, you know, the Cat Act, the Lacey Act, all those things are really, you know, basically the same thing all, all together. You know, it's the same way of thinking that gets us in, in these situations. And, uh, you know, I could talk about why the laws make absolutely no logical sense whatsoever like for example they're worried about um, they're worried about you know uh, exotics getting loose in the country and you know hurting our uh, hurting our wildlife becoming invasive and you know destroying our wildlife meanwhile there are 50 million feral and stray cats running around destroying our wildlife that already have 33 extinctions credited to them at this point and uh, Oh, by the way, the water on this on this camera looks exceptionally dirty. It's actually quite clear from where I'm standing. Uh, it's actually pretty clean. I'm not really sure why that is. But anyway, and, uh, you know, that's just one example of why, you know, the laws don't really make any sense. Most of us know this by now, that, you know, the laws really don't make any sense. Like, they're trying to say... This amount of deaths have happened since this year while, you know, meanwhile, tons and tons of other things are killing more and more people every single day, but we're only concerned about this. I could talk about that, you know, in a whole different video, but, you know, it, it's still there. And, um, you know, that's all fine. You know, we can point out how these laws don't make any sense, but until we change anybody's mind, it's really, you know, for nothing, right? And uh, one problem that I have about the country that I live in being the United States, uh, if you didn't know that, um, you know, it's not just one problem I have, I have lots of problems with this country, but one main problem that I have is that everyone is so offended by everything and they think that gives them the right to do something about it. Um, I read a quote the other day and it's something to the effect of, um, my right to swing my fist ends at the other man's face. I can, you know, I can do whatever I want to do until you know, it infringes on the rights of somebody else. We all know this, a lot of us learn this at an early age in like grade school or something. And, um, but in this country in particular, for whatever reason, we feel like because we hate something, then that should be banned, should be outlawed. We should not have this because, because I don't like it. And maybe some people don't like it. For example, gay marriage, that's a very good example. Uh, you know, I'm not reflecting on my own personal views, but let's just say hypothetically that I hate gay people. Therefore, I should go out and support gay hate groups. I should only eat at Chick-fil-A because they support gay hate groups. And, uh, you know, try and promote legislature to uh, limit the rights of gay people. You know, that doesn't make that doesn't make sense. What right do I have to do that to somebody else to try and limit their rights? That, that, just, doesn't, that just doesn't work. That's not how things work. But yet, that's how everyone thinks. That's like the majority of people, the way they think, is that I don't like this, therefore it should be banned. It should not exist. And uh, that's the exact same thing that's happening to our hobby right now. Uh, people don't understand these animals, so one, they are afraid of them because of the select few incidents that do happen every year. Actually, you know, less than one incident a year happens. Um, but, you know, it, and because, like, they don't, they just don't understand them, right? Like, like, when people think of people who keep reptiles, they think of, you know, big burly men with poor hygiene, a lot of tattoos, you know, a poor contribution to society, and, uh, you know, they're, they're wrong, right? You know, that's just a stereotype, but it's, it's fine, right? Like, I can't change the way somebody else thinks about me, but, you know, it's, it's fine. You can think about me whatever you want, but as soon as you, you know, 
hit my face. As soon as you cross that boundary, that's where I have a problem. And, um, and it's really brought up by these very select few incidents, like the one in Canada. And nobody knows what happened for sure at this point, just because, because they're not really, uh, you know, deliberately saying this is what happened. They're like, oh, well, now there's evidence of this or this. They're not really being very deliberate with it. But because of these select few incidents, people think that all of these animals are just killing machines. They should not be in this country. And, you know, they're, they're wrong because, you know, we talk about uh, keeping reptiles as a hobby, but it's not just a hobby. It is a way of life. Like, I know that seems kind of cheesy. It seems really stupid to say, but it is. It is a way of life. This is what we do because we enjoy doing it. And most of us dedicate you know, the majority of our lives to doing this. Like, the majority of the people in this hobby go to work every day. You know, they wake up nine to five, whatever. As soon as they get their paycheck at the end of the week, pretty much all of it goes into their animals. You know, they, they take whatever, you know, they need to survive, obviously. And then the rest of it goes into food and heating and, you know, uh, caging and everything for their animals. And, you know, we dedicate so much of our lives to these animals that it would just be a shame and it would be a tragedy if all of that went away. And, uh, it, and it's just because of these few incidents where people are afraid and people think these animals are very dangerous, which is, you know, not at all the case. I'm not too sure at this point where I'm going with this video. I mean, like, I can sit here and bitch all I want, but at the end of the day, it really means nothing unless I actually make a positive impact on somebody, you know, even just one person, that would be worth it for me. But um, I'm just going to close out here with some things that you guys can do to help our whole hobby out, you know, in general. Uh, one is go support US Arc and uh, Herp Alliance. You know, they are, have a much bigger voice than any one of us on YouTube, and uh, without them, we'd be in a much, much worse situation than we already are. So please go support them, like them on Facebook, and, you know, donate to them, and, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. I want to do some sort of fundraiser in the future for them, and maybe we'll give out, like, some t-shirts or something cool like that. I'm not really sure. Another thing that, you know, everybody can work on, I can work on it too, you know, n nobody's above this, is can we just start acting like... A a community like we're called the reptile community but we are the most one of the most broken communities that I have ever seen you know I've ever witnessed because you know everyone always has some beef with each other everyone has to hate on what everyone else does and if we could just support each other and stop with all the hate and stop with all the bitching at each other on our Facebook posts and our YouTube videos and I think we'd be in a much better place you know we at times show how immature we really are when we comment on other people's videos and there's always gonna be the trolls and the haters posting stupid stuff but really when you just make an effort just to be an ass to somebody that just shows how immature you are and it makes all of us look bad so uh, if we could all just work on that you know myself included I sometimes get a little butt hurt at like some of the snake bites videos I know uh, I was getting involved over there um, but if we could all just work on that that would be a good thing as well and if you're making videos especially if you are you know uh, more of an influence on YouTube Try and make your videos as professional as possible. I know, like, um, I don't want to, you know, tell people how to make their videos, how to, you know, tell them to change what they do. But if we could all just work on, you know, um, making our videos seem more professional, you know, less live feedings, because I could go on all day about why I don't think live feedings are good on YouTube and they, you know, give us all a bad image. And, um, you know, less live feedings less uh, vulgarity. I know I've been uh, a little bit more vulgar in this video than I would normally be in the past, but, um, you know, uh, showing enclosures that, you know, uh, look nice, you know, the husbandry is actually spot on. Don't show, you know, uh, an American alligator in a 10-gallon aquarium because that doesn't give us a good image. That gives me especially a bad image for keeping one, and, you know, that just makes us all look like we're uneducated and don't actually know how to care for our animals. And that's just one more reason why they want to take them away from us. So uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Hopefully it was, you know, meaningful to somebody and I wasn't just sitting here, you know, throwing out my voice uh, just for this. Uh, maybe I was, but I'll, I'll never know. Uh, but hopefully you guys did enjoy. Uh, you know, st stick around. I'll probably be making some more videos, um, you know, shortly. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.